Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome to another video. As you can see on screen, we are live. We're with chat. And uh, actually, chat and I kind of just went through this new post by Mahoyo. Now, holy smokes. I was expecting Inazuma to be uh, somewhat challenging. I was expecting Inazuma to be somewhat mysterious and difficult to navigate. But holy smokes, I did not expect to get into to the freaking boxing ring with Mike Tyson. Jesus. Some of the things that Inazuma will do to us is, let, let me just put it nicely. It would be an achievement to come out of this fully intact. What do I mean by that? Chat and I, <laughs> Chat and I were looking through this, and it's surprising because while yes, players have constantly said the game needs more difficult content, and that our newer characters have nothing to do, Mahoyo kind of just took the first half of that and be like, "Game's too easy." We'll see what we can do, and in comes. Inazuma. So people, brace yourselves because this region uh, will quite, quite frankly, kick your ass. You thought Dragon Spine was was difficult, challenging? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Dragon Spine was the manager for Inazuma. Inazuma is the real boxer you're gonna jump into the ring with. All right. So with all that hype <laughs> out of the way. Make sure to like and subscribe and join my Discord. <laughs> okay, now we can move in to this. So what is it? There are new mechanics in Unizuma. It's not as simple as Li Yue, uh, not as simple as Mondstadt anymore. The whole region is like a maze you gotta navigate or something like that. So there are these new mechanics, new features. So. Thunder Sakura Bow. So Thunder Sakura Bow can be found on the various islands of Inazuma. Use them to summon a wondrous spirit called Electro Random, which will be an, an invaluable travel companion in Inazuma. And let me tell you, they are not kidding when they say this thing will be invaluable. They practically mean use this or you won't be able to play the damn game while you're in Inazuma. So this is very, very, very important. Thunder Sakura Bow, get used to looking at this, all right? And what is an electro granum? So an electro granum is like this. You see this thing? This is an electro granum. So electro granum can only accompany travelers for a set period of time. So please pay attention to this duration. Yes, if this thing disappeared, you might as well kiss yourself goodbye as well because uh, you're gonna really need this thing. All right. So let's continue. Sacred Sakura. So. Head to the top of the Grand Narukami Shrine to see the Sacred Sakura. It's an unforgettable location. While enjoying the scenery, you can increase the level of Sacred Sakura's favor, making the Electro Granum more powerful. I love this design. I love the Sacred Sakura. And of course, we got the Electro Sigil and offer the Electro Sigil and you exchange. Uh, this is essentially a currency you use to exchange items. Electro Granum can be empowered by the sacred sacra's favor. Now you need to understand the relationship between these two. So we never had a mechanic like this where we can empower a, an external feature. So this is gonna be really interesting to see exactly how you are empowering the electro magnum. The electro grand num. Is it a longer duration or is it more potent? going forward we also have the effects of the electro granum so during your adventures the electro grant na can provide you with various benefits many strange objects known as the thunder spheres dot the inazuma skies when you come within range of a thunder sphere while carrying an electro granum or while affected by electro very important if you don't have an electro granum you can be affected by the element of electro you can move swiftly in the direction of the thunder sphere use these thunder spheres to move lightning fast through the air it's an incredibly convenient method of reversal so this is very important for us going forward because if they are implementing a feature like this, then it must mean that there is a lot of space to, to cover or there might be areas where without this feature, you might just not be able to, to traverse. You can't get over it. So essentially, Mahoyo is putting more emphasis into the electro element. If you don't care about the electro granum in this particular situation, you are able to continue your journeys uh, by using an electro character. Good to see, but uh, it's not an electro buff. All right, let me just say it's not an electro buff. <clears throat> Travelers can determine whether they can move to the thunder sphere by seeing if an icon at the bottom of the screen lights up. Interesting. So new feature, 
new icon. Another new obstacle, new mechanic. Let's see what it's about. So the thunder barrier, these mysterious barriers that block entry are known in Inazuma as thunder barriers for some mysterious reasons. However, traveling with an electro granum can allow you to pass through the barrier unimpeded. Without the electro granum, can we kind of assume that you are kind of out of luck? Is Mahoyo forcing us to play around with these new mechanics? Most likely. All right, so if you are not one to enjoy being forced to interact with certain mechanics so you can interact with other mechanics, we'll have to see, have to see. Observe the symbols on various thunder barriers. Can you spot any difference? So each barrier has a, has a symbol that's attached to them. So stronger barriers will require a stronger electromagnet to pass through them. So remember all the way back when we were talking about the Sakura tree, blah, blah, blah here, when you can increase the power of your electro granum. Well, it, this is starting to look more and more important now, doesn't it? So for people who like to ignore this type of content, well, likely your progression might be halted if you run into a barrier you can't get through. If you encounter an impenetrable thunder barrier, please remember to go to the sacred Sakura to enhance your electro granums. There you go. So the thunderstone. Some thunder barriers contain thunderstones that inflict continuous damage. Remember sheer cold? You guys remember that if you played through Dragon Spine? Do you remember sheer cold? Yeah. An electro granum can temporarily suppress the thunderstone's power, allowing travelers to avoid taking damage. If you ever come across a thunderstone, take care not to stay within the thunder barrier for too long. This is sheer cold, most likely on crack. I would assume this thing will, will kill you if you stand in it for too long. Protection against Bale Thunder. Watch out when in an area affected by high electro concentrations, you will gradually lose HP. Again, another variation of sheer cold to make sure your travels through Inazuma is filled with hardship and grief, but fun, but fun. This phenomenon is known as Bale Thunder. Use Electro Grana to protect yourself against the harmful effects of Bale Thunder, Thunder Wood. Thunderwood can usually be found in areas affected by high electro concentrations. So uh, I'm guessing uh, in areas where Bale Thunder is present, stand near them to protect yourself from the harmful effects of Bale Thunder. So it looks like they are kind of taking or essentially recycling sheer cold and the, the, the whole uh, torch warming mechanic into the Bale Thunder and Thunderwood mechanic. While losing health is probably the easiest right? It's the least annoying one. Imagine if this thing drained your energy. Imagine for a second. It's like, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't make you lose health, but every time you're affected by this uh, stat, you are losing energy particle. That would drive us quite frankly insane. So I'll take, I'll take the HP loss. I think HP loss is like a very basic, like ground zero type of deal. I'll take it, but maybe, just maybe they might throw in something more because I doubt they let us know everything right now. So during your journey, you can also discover many things related to the electro element. Electro Sealy, these little floating things look like Sealy's, don't they? Personally, not really. These curious creatures are called Electro Sealy, so they are Sealy's. They will move off at high speed when you get close to them. If you follow them, they might guide you to a pleasant surprise. Tenke Mora, probably, all right? but make sure to keep your eyes peeled or you might lose sight of them. So also look at this boulder. Unlike those seen in the rest of Teyvat, the piles of stones in Inazuma contain the electrical element. Perhaps they will respond to certain elemental reaction. Okay, in addition to the aforementioned content, there are more gameplay features awaiting you in Inazuma. So we'll see you next time. Very, very interesting. I love that they have dedicated an entire post to this. So thank you to chat who directed my attention to this. Now, this isn't gonna be easy, all right? Let me tell you, for people who don't watch videos like this, for people who don't go reading stuff like this, imagine how difficult it would be for, for people to just kind of blindly go in and try to play through all this stuff. And I think this is a good thing, all right? This level of difficulty level in and of itself if you want to explore the region of Inazuma, you have to be able to learn, deal with these uh, obstacles. Essentially, they are kind of like puzzle pieces that are integrated 
into the exploration process of Inazuba. They're not like previous puzzles where, oh, you want this chest or you, you want to unlock a certain domain, you have to complete a puzzle. No, the entirety of Inazuma is a gosh darn puzzle. So this is very, very interesting. I love to see this. I would love to go in and play it. I'm sure there's a lot more than just this. These are the core mechanics that Inazuma will entail that will be enforced upon the players essentially. So please familiarize yourself with these new mechanics and I hope to see you all in game. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can go read this yourself. I'll leave the link in it in the description and make sure to like and subscribe. What else can I say? Like join these beautiful, beautiful, uh, amazing people here in live streams. I stream Wednesdays, Saturdays, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So until next time, chat, you guys know what to say. Stay safe and peace, peace.